Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember guys, this is for adults. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. Find all the photos that you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? It's Zach Jack Dan back with another Every Super 7 video. Tomorrow, we're talking about every Disney Ultimates from Super 7. So what are Super 7's Ultimates? They are huge 7-inch figures with all kinds of accessories that come in the box with this nice slip cover that goes over the top. They also come with a mail box. So you got all kinds of boxes that you're going to get with these. And great figures because they are so big and so, so much options for your collection. So they teased us with a few images whenever they got the Disney license and there was a picture here of Mickey. And he is the Sorcerer Apprentice Mickey. It's going to have interchangeable accessories, heads, hands, water buckets. It's going to have the animated broom, axe, Sorcerer's Giant Spell Book. He's also got a tailored velvety soft wizard robe and real rope tied waistband. So here is Sorcerer Apprentice Mickey in his box, what it will look like, and with that nice slip cover on there. So they're all like very customized slip covers for each character it looks like. Next they tease us with the image of Pinocchio and Jiminy Cricket. And so Pinocchio, Jiminy Cricket of course, and he's going to come with a school book, an axe, an apple, we come with Cleo's fishbowl, figure of the cat, and a smart fabric vest with gold trim. Here's what they're wanting their Pinocchio to look like in package. You see the nice wood around it. There's a nice slip cover. You see Jiminy Cricket floating down out of the stars. That's really awesome. Next, they tease us with this picture of the Prince John from Robin Hood. And so he's going to come with three interchangeable heads, interchangeable hands. Going to come with uh, hands without the jewels and with the jewel rings. We have two versions of the Slithering Assistant Sir Hiss. Uh, he will have a vanity mirror and a luxurious plush velvet regal robe with fur trim. And then here's your Prince John. Got the gold slipcover with the rubies, emeralds, whatever they want to call that jewelry there on the side. And just kind of a purple box. So this was more of a boring one compared to the rest of them, but uh, it looks nice. So these ultimate figures will be $45 each. That's how Super 7 does it. So if you're excited, let me know. So here's our first official look at the images of them in their plastic. Don't see them in their boxes yet, but this is just showing how far along they are with this Wave 1 of the Super 7 Ultimates with Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey, Prince John, and Pinocchio. And they're looking amazing in their packaging here, so really excited to see all these come to us. And it looks like they'll be coming to us probably December 2021, so... That's some exciting news for those of us who have this ordered up, if you haven't. So they finally have landed in the United States. Here are some of the pictures of the in package for the Wave 1. Instead of just the renderings, there are our three figures, Prince John, Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey, and Pinocchio in package. So beautiful. There's their slip covers coming off. And here they are outside of package. Such a cool set of figures there. And if you haven't already done so, get on over to Big Bad Toy Store and link in the description or the card above. 
search Super 7 Disney and get your pre-orders in for these three waves of Super 7 Ultimates Disney characters. So then wave two started hitting and being announced and being teased. And they first teased us with this image of Robin Hood in disguise. And the pre-orders went up and they're going for a while. If you want to buy the set of four figures, it's 220 for all four together. You have until June to get these pre-orders in. But if you want them individually, you got them for $55 each, and they are made to order. So whoever orders them is going to get them, and that's it. So you have your Robin Hood, and like I said, you got him in disguise in his crane outfit. Got two sets of bows and arrows, extra wings, the extra head sculpt there with the arrow going through the hat, and the arrow, the golden arrow on the pillow, so that's cool. Really neat that we got the disguise here. And this will go right with that Wave 1 Prince John. Next you have your Alice in Wonderland here. And all these do seem to have soft goods on them, so that's pretty interesting. You got your Alice with her glasses, you got the surprised face, the tiny Alice, the eat me cookie, the drink me drink, and her little cat, Dinah. Next, just to go with Alice in Wonderland, you have the Mad Hatter figure, two different heads, an extra hat, cake, the watch with the jam in it, the mouse in the teapot, the three pouring teapots, different hands, and a teacup. So that's really awesome looking right there for Mad Hatter. And again, he does have that soft goods jacket on. be awesome if we had a chair and a table too to go with this but that's probably not gonna happen now we talked about the prices earlier on the first wave which were $45 and these have jumped up to $55 each so that's kind of disappointing uh, manufacturing in China has gone up there's not as many people that are wanting to do it so they have to pay their employees more I guess so that is where the price increase is plus the plastic is harder to come by I guess Then you have from Fantasia again to go with your Mickey Mouse. You have your Hyacinth Hippo with her tutu. It's just two different tutus you can choose from, the yellow and the pink. Three different head sculpts, a mirror. Um, you have the purple shoes or pink shoes, the purple grapes, different hands. Pretty cool looking hippo. But there's your wave two. So here's our tease for wave three. Of course, we know that's Stitch. So pretty cool. We're going to get a Stitch figure in this wave three of Disney Ultimates. And there he is sitting on the beach, crash landed. I don't know. There's his big old massive teeth. You know, this guy is crazy. So there's the rendering of what Stitch is going to look like in package with the slip cover over top as well. Got that nice Hawaiian look there with the flowers on it. Stitch has got five different head sculpts. Check that out. He may be more United Galactic Federation fugitive than Shelter Dog, but Lilo knows that whatever he is, Stitch is good. The seven inch scale ultimates figure of Stitch from Disney's Lilo and Stitch includes multiple interchangeable heads, we said five already, and hands, as well as a variety of accessories suitable for Experiment 626 at Zany Hijinks. What does he have? He comes with five interchangeable heads, as we said, seven interchangeable hands, 
one carrot blaster, one cake, one set of sunglasses, a superhero cape, soft goods, awesome, plunger on the head, little wrap around the head, cooking hat, and licking his chops. So pretty cool there. With all these figures, there it is in package again, a little zoomed in for you. And here he is baking his cake. So he's got his little mitts there to touch the hot cake. Interesting. Next figure in wave three is Ben Alligator from Fantasia. Disney Ultimates Fantasia Ben Alligator 7 inch scale actor figure while wooing Hyacinth Hippo, even if things don't go as smoothly as a well-executed ballet, an earnest and enthusiastic effort with a certain panache can with win the day. Interesting little write-up. You see the slip cover over top of it as well. There he is. Doesn't have a lot that comes with him. He does have a cape, three sets of hands, and three head sculpts. This is kind of a weak uh, ultimate, in my opinion. There's not a lot that comes with it. I don't know if maybe because they gave so much to his little girlfriend Hippo there that that's why we didn't get a lot with this particular guy. So here again, a little zoom in of the package and slipcover. And him in his opera. So I wouldn't mind if they actually would do a hard cape and a soft cape with this one maybe. Maybe they can throw that in there. We'll see what happens. Uh, they always make changes as they go. The third figure in Wave 3, definitely a must-have, is the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. We hope you planted the red roses instead of the white ones, because the Queen of Hearts is here, and such mistakes can have dire consequences. So here we go with the Queen of Hearts and all of her accessories. She has three different head sculpts, one red, one yelling, one regular. <clears throat> she has three sets of interchangeable hands. Four, excuse me. I see the ones up there holding the the roses as well that are painted. So that's pretty cool. The dress, which is soft goods. She has a heart scepter, a flamingo croquet stick, a porcupine croquet ball, and her hubby, the King of Hearts himself. So there's a little zoom in of that rendering of it in package and the slip cover. So really cool there. And there she is playing Groquet and yelling at him. Nice. And the fourth figure in Wave 3. Silly Symphony's Big Bad Wolf. Your eyes do not deceive you. Those eyes, nose, and mouth are way too big to be grandmas. So here we go in a grandma disguise. This Big Bad Wolf figure. Six interchangeable hands. One pajama dress, soft goods, one set of luggage, <clears throat> one sheet basket. That is what you got. So there you go. Soft goods, grandma's clothing. Did the, the head for the grandma's bonnet there. Interesting stuff for this big bad wolf. There it is again. Slip cover showing the woods. And the rendering of what it's going to look like in package. And there he is off through the woods with his bag. So I hope the bag opens. That's one thing there. Three sets of hands. I'm not sure if I said that. But two mouths look like they are blowing. Maybe, maybe not. So that's it. Get on over there and get those pre-orders in for these Wave 3 figures as well. Really cool Wave 3 set. There they all are loose with their accessories. There's the main figures themselves. And there all four of them are in package with their slip covers. Super 7 did do a video showing off this Wave 3 and their scale. And check out how big these ultimate figures are. There is the Stitch. That is a very large figure. 
pretty cool. That's a lot of his stuff to actually put in a box as well. Here's the big bad wolf. The Fantasia alligator. He doesn't have a lot coming with him in my opinion. And then from Alice in Wonderland, the queen. So of course you are missing her soft goods robe right there. But very cool prototypes of these figures. So here we go with wave four of the Ultimates with three figures coming out for the Disney Ultimates. And they're stuck with the Nightmare Before Christmas, Tim Burton's movie. All three figures will be part of that movie. So if you want this wave, there you go. So here we go with Jack Skellington. Comes with his little dog there. Extra heads and hands and the scientific method book. So there's Jack Skeleton's slipcover and the rendering of what it looked like in package. Here is Oogie Boogie with that nasty looking head sculpt there. And his hands all ripped open as well. There's his regular hands, so you've got both versions. You've got one head sculpt with a snake tongue coming out. You've got a bat that comes with him. And his regular head sculpt, of course. Rendering of what it looked like in package with the slipcover there. And then we have Sally. Sally with three different head sculpts. Comes with a cat, a basket, and extra hands. Her arm can pop off. Rendering of what it looked like in package and her slipcover. Like that hair where the wind is blowing it. That cat is crazy looking. Hi everyone, it's Yoko with Super 7, and what's this? I'm here to talk to you about Disney Ultimates Wave 4, celebrating none other than Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Let's take a closer look. First up is the master of fright himself, Jack Skellington. He comes with three interchangeable heads, a neutral head, grinning head, and yelling head. He comes with six interchangeable hands, two open hands, two expressive hands, one pointing hand, and one hand that can hold the book, The Scientific Method, because there's got to be a way to explain this Christmas thing. He is also accompanied by his faithful ghost dog, Zero, probably my favorite part of this whole wave. And of course, he comes in his beautiful soft goods tailored coat. Here's a look at the 3D printed prototype for Jack Skellington, as well as his beautiful coat. And Zero. Next up we have Sally, who is so compassionate and so kind and just wants the best for Jack, even when he doesn't seem to really notice her, and honestly, I think she could do better. Sally Ultimate's figure comes with three interchangeable heads, one with a neutral expression, a curious expression, and one with beautiful windswept hair. She comes with six interchangeable hands, two open hands, an expressive hand, one hand holding a needle, so her arm back up, one hand that can hold her arm that fell off, and one hand that is holding her basket of goodies for Jack. She comes, of course, with this basket of goodies, the black cat, and a beautiful soft goods dress of her iconic patchwork look. Well, 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 what have we here? It's Oogie Boogie closing out this fourth wave of Disney Ultimates figures. Oogie Boogie comes with three interchangeable heads, a neutral head, a super gross, gnarly, bug-filled head, and one head with a snake tongue popping out of his mouth. He comes with four interchangeable hands, his pair of neutral hands, one hand holding his dice, and one hand with all the bugs and gross stuff coming out of him. And he's accompanied by a bat. And that has been Disney Ultimates Wave 4. I hope you'll agree that they're simply meant to be. Head on over to Super7.com and pre-order this wave of Nightmare Before Christmas figures now. Really? You want to do this video? So yeah, there they all are in package with their slip covers and all their accessories. So Wave 4 Super 7 Ultimates. New York Comic Con showed off this Wave 4 prototypes here from the Nightmare Before Christmas. So here's a little tease that Super 7 is doing for Wave 5, the skull here. If you guys know anything about Disney, you know this is from the Rescuers. 
So here's wave five, only two figures in this wave for the rescuers. So definitely going down on the amount of Disney stuff they're putting out, which is really kind of crazy. Here's a nice little write up on Bernard and Bianca, $85 for this box set for these two little mice and uh, the fly there, which is Evanrood. He also has his leaf boat. So very interesting that this is that expensive. So there's the box set itself, Miss Bianca and Bernard. And you can see that the leaf itself is eight inches wide, three inches tall. Uh, the figures themselves are three inches tall. And then you have Penny. Penny's regular price, $55. You see it comes with uh, tiny figures of Miss Bianca and Bernard. So very interesting that you're gonna have figures of mice, regular size, three inches, plus they're gonna have a character here that's gonna be, what, four inches? I don't know, it's gonna be kind of weird, right? Anyway, you got a Rufus figure there with the cat, uh, extra head there, the sword, the skull, the diamond, the lantern there, the extra hands, also a bear that you have the diamond end. But there's that rendering of the package. And there they are in action. Both packages for this Wave 5. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me in the comments. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.